Hi! Hey yo! Hey yo! Welcome back to another vlog. It has been a long time since I have actually vlogged. I think it's been almost two months. So we are back. I can't really see anything. Last week was mid-sem break um, and it is week nine this week. Today's Tuesday but I had two assignments due yesterday so I didn't really get much of a mid-sem break. Um, I was, it was probably like one of the busiest weeks that I've had, to be honest. So today we are celebrating and having a little bit of a break and we are going to the beach. Woo! The restriction on how far we can travel has extended to 10 kilometers. It was initially five kilometers. And then tomorrow it's becoming 15 kilometers. So the beach is now in our 10 kilometer radius. So we're gonna go for a little bit of an adventure and it is 23 degrees today in Melbourne going around the roundabout which is a lovely day for Melbourne and the rest of the week's Ford and the rest of the week's Ford forecast <laughs> why can't I say that and the rest of the week's forecast is not nice at all it is super duper rainy and gross anyways we're gonna head to the beach today and then I'm gonna take you along with me for a few days in my life in lockdown in Melbourne <clears throat> Yay. So I'm gonna go across the country at school I've been thinking about it early and I made up my mind Is that cool? I wanna know it'll be hot in some months Why I know it's new, yeah I think it's what I wanna do You can't see it's the best place for me But I'm guessing that it's different when I'm looking from your point of view From your point of view, oh I said, baby, you've got things to do And that's alright for me But just know that when you come back home In the same place I will be Hello, everyone. I feel like, is this a bad angle? There's kind of like nowhere in my room that I can put my camera at like a good height. So this might have to do. I hope this isn't too far away. Today is a great day because a few reasons actually. Firstly, we hit our 80% single dose vaccination target here in Victoria. So the college has treated us to a coffee cart and donuts, which means free coffee and free donuts today. And I've already had one of each and I'm on to my second coffee and my second donut, but I'm gonna make the most of it. And I just got back from my work. You may recall a while ago now, like two months ago, I talked about how I had a new job. It's as a behavioral therapist for children with autism. Basically, shit happened and only today I finished my training and passed my practical assessment. I went to the center um, to have like an in-person workshop which was like a 20 minute drive away and I was there for four hours and oh, it's really hot in here and I have finished my training and so now I'm officially employed I can't wait to start working with kids again I have not worked with kids for a while and I really miss it and I'm just so excited to start so it's come at a good time because as I mentioned when I was driving to the beach I've had just the busiest few weeks and honestly, yeah, not a great time of my year, but it's week nine and weirdly it's just happened that I don't have any more assessments until the 1st of November, which is in like three weeks time. And even then I've got three assessments and they're all pretty chill. So from here on, I am just cruising. I've started off my week strong by getting a job I will keep you up to date with when I start. The next kind of step is that I need to be matched with a child who lives around here and whose schedule aligns with mine. And I'll talk more about the job and stuff once I've actually done it for a bit. My day has felt so long, but I actually want to make like a little mood board for the pin board above my desk because <laughs> I've not done anything with that pin board all year. I've been meaning to make it look pretty and 
kind of like uplift me when I sit at my desk but I'm gonna finally get around to that today. My camera has sand in it from the beach yesterday. A wet dog full of sand literally ran through me and through my towel and ran right over my camera and my phone and my speaker and just left a wet sand wet dog all over my stuff but it was so cute i could not be mad at it okay i just thought i'd show you this is what i'm printing for my mood board i'll give you a little before look at what my desk situation looks like as you can see i've just chucked random stuff up there um, I haven't even really put them up properly just because I'm so lazy and yeah, it just doesn't look very good at the moment. So, okay, of course they're mowing the lawn <laughs> just as I start filming. So I've just gone through on Pinterest. You can go and follow my Pinterest. Um, the link is in my description box, but I've just gone through my all pins and just chosen out a few that I think kind of will inspire me and just make me feel good and motivated and happy and I've just kind of arranged them on this A4 poster template so this is just an A4 page okay I've chopped them all up lots of quotes Lots of just nice little images. I am going to clear this whole thing because I'm just going to redo it all and start from scratch. update on the mood board i think it looks heaps better obviously it's getting kind of dark outside so it doesn't look amazing right now but looks much more full i don't really know what to do up here i think i need a couple more things there but my laptop sits here so i didn't want to put anything there that was going to be covered um and then same over here this is where my books go i've still got this little clip here that I put my cards in. So that hangs there and then I've got um, a pin for my mask. I have a little pin for my necklace and then I have an S hook for my keys. I'm gonna leave it like that now and I'm gonna put all of this stuff back up. But I just wanted to take it all down and redo it because it was getting super messy and not very organized. So I'm gonna do that now. It looks so much better. I have some fairy lights, which I'm gonna put up here too, and then I'm done. while it is now six o'clock toe is here i spent literally half an hour trying to untangle my fairy lights because they got all tangled on themselves and i almost lost it but i didn't and now ta -da! it's all done i'm gonna turn the lights off and show you that's what it looks like with all the lights off in my room successful